I'm Randy Landrino. I'm a senior consultant with ReportMaster Software. This is an introduction to a series of informational videos on documentation, basically reports and daily notes. We've got a lot of clients, we've got a lot of chiropractors using our system, close to 5,000 now. And many of our clients are key documentation experts in their states. So we get information from them about what is really needed. We call these hot tips. And, and a lot of times this isn't information that's that widely known, even though it should be. And we're talking about information that can help you get paid better with insurance, that can help you handle an audit, whether it's Medicare or Blue Cross Blue Shield or someone else, uh, that can help you do better for your personal injury, workers' comp, uh, or getting MDs to refer you patients. So the purpose of this video series is to get that information across to you. Now the first thing we're going to talk about in this first series, or the first video, is the concept of goals. You know, you have short-term goals and long-term goals, and a lot of doctors don't realize that right now, Medicare is requiring you to show your short-term goals separately from your long-term goals. Uh, in fact, we're going to talk a little bit about that now, because it's a very important point, because many insurance companies are going to Medicare standards, so it's going to be all over very shortly, okay? So let's take a look at that. Here we have a note, and we're going to go down to the Today's Modalities and Procedures portion here, right here. And it says here, the following procedures were performed and or recommended today. The modalities performed on the cervical region consisted of chiropractic adjustment to C2. Other modalities included extremity adjustment to the left knee. The above was for the purpose of decreasing pain and decreasing muscle spasms. So those are your goals for today's treatment. And at the bottom here, here you have the future care plan. Now realize this is the plan uh, that we're going over for, you know, three times per week for the next four weeks. And here are your goals. The preceding treatment plan has the goal of decreasing pain, increasing the ability to perform normal activities of daily living, and returning the patient to her pre-accident status. So you notice here that some of these goals here, like return to pre-accident status, uh, uh, get back to normal activities of daily living, that type of thing, you know, those are longer term goals that you couldn't accomplish in one visit. So, so you really do have a difference between your plan goals very often and your today's goals. Now, as far as getting that data into, into a note in Report Master, here you have today's goals, decrease pain, decrease spasm. Next screen at the bottom here, you have future treatment plan goals, and you just check off whatever they are. And uh, I guess the main point would be to make sure that when you're doing your, your notes, that you have short-term and long-term goals laid out separate from each other, and then you'll really be covered. Please give us a call today, toll free, 877-742-9215 for a live demonstration. Thanks.